Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. I do want to apologize first of all for the quality that you may be seeing as I'm not sure how it's going to come out. I am actually recording these videos on my laptop as I've been extremely busy. It's been a crazy chaotic type of day. Uh, it is now, I believe, three in the morning. <clears throat> I apologize if my voice seems a little bit off, but I've been doing nothing but spell work um, the past couple of hours and initially before that, obviously throughout the day, uh, dealing with all types of readings for all of you guys out there. So anyways, um, just wanted to definitely make, I made it a, a mission of mine uh, to get these videos out to you guys as soon as possible as I'm trying to get the messages across uh, as we are celebrating the 1st of May, which is now the 2nd of May. So I definitely made it a mission to actually get these videos uploaded for, you, uploaded for you guys. So anyways, with all of that said, let's get into your reading. Uh, this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I've already shuffled the deck and cut it for time purposes. So let's get right into your reading, Libras. So in regards to air and your communication for the month of May 2018, you have, whoa, you have the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords uh, could definitely represent feeling betrayed, feeling cheated, uh, taken advantage of. That's definitely not a good card. As you guys all know, um, Three of Swords is a very hurtful, it speaks about pain, it speaks about not being able to um, detach yourself from the feeling of betrayal more than anything as a general uh, for communication, how you're going to be communicating for with people throughout the May, uh, the month of May, sorry. Um, with the Three of Swords, it usually signifies uh, becoming very, very detached, um, almost going within yourself and not really expressing your emotions or feelings. Perhaps some of you guys are currently dealing with third-party type of energies or the doubt, or the fact that you perhaps already found out things are coming out in the open, and there is definitely resentment. Um, but more than anything, feeling hurt. I know Libras uh, tend to be, you guys tend to be, um, you know, the balancers. Uh, so when it comes to you being off balance, uh, you guys kind of, you know, go within yourself and, and try kind of shut down. Um, but it's definitely necessary based on the fact of, you know, that the Three of Swords is definitely coming out here. So let's see how it progresses. In reference to Earth and the element or the element of Earth, uh, your finances and business, you have the King of Cups. So the King of Cups could represent um, a person that you're dealing with or someone that is surrounding you or is around your energy. It could be work and uh with work, it uh, could be a superior. It's usually a person that could be very emotional. Um, perhaps for some of you guys, it could be that you are dealing with a, a supervisor or a manager or someone that you work with. It could be a partnership as well. And I feel that for, as the King of Cups, it usually signifies a person that could be a little bit over emotional. And obviously, you, Libra, are not really good with dealing with that type of personality only because you guys don't like conflict. Uh, so you guys may be dealing with that. Um, uh, also, uh, the King of Cups could represent um, an older male. It could be male or female. It is a general reading. But I feel that this is a person that you are working with or you're surrounded with. It could be a superior, a superior of yours. Um, nonetheless, I do feel that you may feel almost like uncomfortable, perhaps because they're coming to you for advice. Uh, perhaps personal advice and it just makes you feel a little bit like there's an awkwardness to this um you know to whoever this message is for know and understand that sometimes it is necessary for us to speak up in regards to our boundaries because a lot of people sometimes they just don't get it um so you know if you are having to deal with like a co-worker or you know a superior a boss or someone that is coming to you in reference to like personal issues that they're dealing with it could even be that they're dealing with cheating and they're coming to you almost to kind of guide them or give them some type of advice but if it's throwing you off or making you feel very uncomfortable then try the best you can to speak up and let them know like hey this is you know 
this is our profession. This is what we do. And we need to be professional about it. Um, you know, be tactful in the way you express it because this could be an overly emotional person. Nonetheless, do speak up for yourself. Okay. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a water sign. A water sign would be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And there could be a third party type of situation here with the three of swords, a feeling of perhaps hurt, betrayal. Um, this could be a friend. This could be your partner, even a partner that you're with involved in a relationship. Um, and they're just, there's some type of moodiness to them. And if there has been doubts or if there has been some type of lingering feeling like they may be acting weird because you know, they're dealing with other people. Perhaps they are. I will continue to pull out more cards and give you more clar uh, clarification with that. But in regards to the element of fire and your challenge for the month of May, you have the 10 of wands. With the 10 of wands, there's definitely a feeling of burden, um, being overburdened, having too many responsibilities or the feeling of having major responsibilities in regards to it could be family members it could be in regards to a relationship perhaps you feel like you're kind of carrying the relationship and this person is just being extremely moody and not really putting the effort um it could be also that you, there's a lot of anxiety or tiredness more than anything that is attached to this type of connection so the message here uh from what the cards are you know the cards that are coming out what is saying is basically if there has been any doubt that this person may be dealing with someone else and you're feeling like you're carrying the relationship out of responsibility, meaning maybe you're extremely close to like your partner's family members and you kind of fear that if you decide to walk out of the relationship that they're going to judge you or they're going to, um, just something that has to do with your pride or how they may perceive you or how it may change the way they perceive you. Ultimately, ultimately, the message here is stand your ground and speak up, okay? If you're not happy in the relationship or if, in fact, you do know that your partner stepped out of the relationship and you're trying to work through it, but you feel like it's, there's not really anything that's going to come from that because you're not being able to let go of the past, as an example, if you do know that, in fact, you were cheated on and you still try to work through that, Know and understand that spirit is telling you at the present time it's nece it's almost necessary for you to detach yourself from burden or responsibility that is not of your own. Meaning if it was your partner that stepped out of the relationship, they need to take self-responsibility for that and you should not feel like you're tied to them based off of other responsibilities, whatever that may be to you. In regards to water and emotions uh, for the month of May 2018, you have, wow, the Queen of Cups. So very rarely do we get uh, the King and Queen of the same suit. So this is definitely talking about relationship. Uh, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may in fact be dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And nonetheless, I definitely do see a third party type of scenario here. Um, sorry, to be the barrier of bad news. Um, but this is definitely talking about having a lot of major responsibilities. Perhaps you or your partner has been working very, very hard and putting a lot of effort into the work um, that you kind of forgot or your partner forgot to give time and make time for yourself. And they, based on the fact that they've been busy or whatnot, it could even be that they are actually uh, dealing with the person at work or the people that they work with uh, that may be, you know, communicating, taking it almost to the next level, uh, whatever that may represent. Uh, but I definitely do see a third party type of energy here. Um, with the Queen of Cups, again, like I said, this is definitely talking about relationships. So let me pull out your final card, which is Spirit's message for you. Uh, the, yeah, definitely. Okay. So your general message, Spirit's advice is the nine of pentacles to me the nine of pentacles is definitely the single head card so for those of you guys that have been dealing or are currently dealing with a third party type of situation or a partner that stepped out of the relationship spirit is telling you that there is absolutely nothing wrong with fearing being single do not remain and do not stay in a relationship based off of the fact of feeling like you're going to be alone 
or having the fear of not being able to find someone else to be in a relationship with. Um, there is no, there's absolute no reason to stay in a relationship that is not fulfilling you or that you're not genuinely happy in. Um, the nine of pentacles is definitely the singlehood card, but it's the embracing of being single. Um, but I feel that there's a lot of anxiety to this. Uh, perhaps for some of you guys, you guys have been in a long-term committed relationship. And recently you guys found out that your partner was stepping out of the relationship. This could be vice versa because it is a general reading. Nonetheless, if you are a cross watcher and, um, your Libra was the one that stepped out of the relationship. Do not remain in a relationship just because you're comfortable, just because they are what's known to you or because of, you know, I know them. I might as well just deal with it. No, do not do that because you're going to be, you're going to be put in a situation that you're unfulfilled and down the road, you may be the one to step out of the relationship because you're no longer happy where you're at. So the message here is embrace new beginnings. If it is time for you to step out of the relationship, actually detach yourself from the relationship and walk away, do so. Because you need to learn about valuing yourself and your self-worth. Do not settle for anything less than what you deserve, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I'm so sorry that it was negative, unfortunately. Um, I genuinely hope that it doesn't resonate with everyone. Uh, but unfortunately, those are the messages that came through for Libra. So I hope you guys take the messages and um, they help you through these uh, difficult trying times. I send you guys all my love and my light. I uh, wish you guys the best and we'll speak to each other soon.